morning. Today is the 3rd of March, 2023. I, uh, believe it or not, well, as you can probably tell, I went out and got a haircut yesterday and I'm really suffering for it. And the worst part of that is it was an hour and a half of my day. I took a train to get there, took a train to get back. 20 minutes in the chair, half hour in the chair, and now I am where I am. Sorry, I'm just not doing so well. I didn't know what else. Just threw this on <laughs> and hoping for the best. Uh, I think you can tell that it's affected me, but just any physical exercise affects me. So I'm still going to do my best to plow on through with this one. I obviously came home yesterday in rough shape. And I uh, scrolled on my phone, and there's an update on the Amberlynn Reed channel. Uh, I, I think you know she's documenting her life as an, uh, as she'll admit, she's an overly, uh, she's an obese woman who struggles with her um, uh, weight. She's been on her channels now about 10 years on. And she has yet to find the uh, a workable solution for her. Uh, I did make a uh, video on her before. I actually went too far, uh, as far as I was concerned. I was delving in stuff which I have no idea what's going on in her head, and I'm not going to talk about that because that's not a it's none of my business, and b that's on her. The reason I'm uh, broaching the subject today is because I know a little bit about um, weight loss and that is something that she's been struggling with for her whole um, career, her whole life according to her. She had um, about two months ago or so, she had decided that although she'd been against it for the, the majority of her channel when she talked about weight loss surgery, she's been adamantly against it, she can do it on her own. She didn't think that it was wrong for people to do it, but it wasn't for her. She's got this, she'll, she'll, she'll do it, and you'll see. Unfortunately, 10 years on, her, um, we've only seen it not work for her. That said, um, she decided that she was going to, she got the funds together, she was going to do the weight loss surgery. I only know about weight loss surgery from what I see on YouTube more or less. I read about it. Um, I'm familiar with it and the whole process. Obviously, I watched my 600 pound life. So I have some familiarity with it. Obviously, it's something that I didn't need to do, but that's neither here nor there. My point is um, I did it my way. <laughs> what I mean by that is even if you get the surgery, you're still going to have to do it your way. You're still going to have to find a, a re-adjustment of bad eating habits to get the weight loss. I mean, that's simple as that. A lot of the um, a lot of the advice that they give the the higher protein, the less carbs, eat slower. Uh, the newest one of sipping your your beverages, I don't do that, but okay, like I guess I can see it. Maybe you're not taking as much in. I'm wondering. I don't understand the logic behind it, but I do understand that eating slower, there's actually science behind that. I do understand that eating more protein, there's science behind that. My point is that she or anyone who wants to lose weight is going to have to readjust their eating lifestyle, how you eat and whatnot. The tool of weight loss surgery, which is a bit extreme as far as I'm concerned, cutting out you know body parts to uh, reduce the intake of food. But if you haven't done the work um, to get your eating habits under control, obviously anyone who has a weight issue is just throwing it out there. You're eating over 2,500, I'm guessing, a day. If two, I think for a woman, it's about 1,500. For a man, it's about two, but then it all depends on your height and all that kind of stuff. But my point is, you're overeating. 
Are you doing it through binges? I don't know. Are you doing it through overeating? Obviously. Is your overeating a binge? I don't know. That is something which I absolutely have mentioned before. I do not know about binge eating. I don't do it. Um, when I'm eating something I like, <laughs> I get full. And then I stop eating. I still like it. But I don't have to eat five times of it. You know, I don't know. It, it, it's just a thing. My point is, she was given the... Uh, originally, she had, I think hyped yourself up to thinking she was going to be getting the surgery a lot sooner than from my experience, most people who go through the procedure, because it's not just the operation, there's pre-operation, there's reducing your, your body fat to even get the operation, but that's also training you in how to eat post-operation because it's going to be a lifestyle change is my point. Unfortunately, she was given a, um, uh, according to her, you know, again, I'm just re referring to what she said uh, in her latest video. According to her, the people who are responsible for her health and therefore this operation have told her that she's going to need to go through a year process before she can even, she's qualified for it because she's got the money is what I'm figuring but she needs to do some work on her psychological and her lifestyle choices and changes for it to work. Um, she made one, and this will be a wrap up, a little slower, uh, shorter today. I, I'm just not doing so well, but I just wanted to get this out because it was interesting to me. She now believes that she does no longer have binge eating disorder, which, okay, like, if you watched her channel, you know um, she she takes accountability for her weight. She'll tell you that I put the food in my mouth. I over consume calories, therefore I'm overweight. But she does rely on, but I have a binge eating disorder, therefore it's not necessarily my fault. Okay, it's possible. Well, she got a new diagnosis for what a binge eating event is, and it doesn't fit necessarily her criteria. Now, after years and years of telling us that she has this disorder, now she considers it a misdiagnosis. It's possible. Again, I, I do not know except for what she says and how she acts and how she presents. Okay, so it's possible it was a misdiagnosis, but I'll wrap it up with this one final um, story from her channel, which makes me wonder if she's just hoping that she was misdiagnosed. A couple years ago, when she was going out with Becky, she made this video where both of them were distraught. She was almost crying, if not crying. She was very upset at herself for what she had put Becky through the night before. The night before, she was, according to her, at the time, she was binging. And Becky, who was her partner, was trying to help her through it. Maybe you don't need it. She wants food. She wants food. She was apparently, according to her and to them, she was adamant. She was rude. She was pushy. She was mean. And the look on Becky's face during this exchange, she was scared she she had gone through something the night before and she loves um Amberlynn of course but what Amberlynn put her through rocked her world in the wrong way if you follow she eventually at that video in reference at the time Becky eventually threw her hands up and said okay I'll go out and buy you food that was the way that story ended and now the morning she's apologizing to the camera to Becky about the events of the night before. Again, it was it was very touching to tell the truth. Um, I thought at the time that I've never experienced binge eating on the, I have never, I don't know anyone who binge eats and it's a private affair anyways, but I appreciated that, excuse me, I appreciated that Amber Lynn was, uh, kind enough to show us how binge eating affects people. So for that, I'm kind of 
grateful. At least I, I got some insight into what this order does, how it manifests, and how it can be very, very hurtful, not just for the binge eater, but for the partner as well. Enough said. Um, I, I wish Amber all the best. I really hope that, uh, just I guess one final point. She was saying that she thinks that all the work that she's done for the past month is a waste. Amber, don't consider it a waste. Take it and adjust it to your life and say, okay, I will wait the year. But you know what? It might even be less than a year. But, but strive for the... Keep your eye on the prize, make it a year, cross your fingers, and hope that'll be sooner, but all the work that you do from now to the next year will make the surgery and the uh, better for you and the recovery from it easier for you. Just my two cents. Anyways, I'm sorry, death so much for a longer video, a shorter video. Sort of be a bit of a longer one, I apologize. It's just been on my mind. It was a great distraction from what I went through yesterday. And uh, yeah, so that's what's going on behind the patch this morning. I'll talk to you guys later.